hi welcome back in this video I will discuss what are constructors in Java what are the different types of constructors and how to overload constructors in Java with simple programming examples constructor is a special method which is used to initialize the values of instance variable at the time of creating an object that is uh, whenever you want to initialize the values of uh, instant variables at the time of creating object a constructor is used the constructor is implicitly called whenever you create an object of that particular class here the following are the features of a constructor constructor will have the same name as that of the class name that is the constructor name and the class name should be same constructor should not uh, specify any return type or you should not specify even void also it should be declared in public section of the program these are the three very important uh, features of other constructors in java now we will see what are the different type of constructors are available in java java has uh, two types of constructors the, the default constructor is one which does not take any argument that is if you don't pass any par argument to a constructor it is called as a default constructor parameterized constructor is the second type of constructor which takes at least one parameter if you pass at least one parameter it will become a parameterized constructor in this case if you don't uh, specify a default or parameterized constructor in your class by default the java will add a default constructor to its class now we will take a simple example to understand uh, the default uh, constructor in this case you can see here I have created a class called as B it has a member called as X in this case which is of type integer next I have defined a constructor here if you notice B is the uh, class name I have taken the same name for the constructor it does not have any written type and it is not taking any parameter the meaning of this one is it is a default constructor it has one uh, printf print statement that is constructing box and one uh, initialization statement that is x is equal to 10 here there is one uh, normal method that is show which does not return anything and it will print the value of x here now when it comes to the main class uh, that is mb that is a main b within a main class i have created an object of uh, b here that is b1 so whenever i create an object of b that is uh, b1 it will call the constructor so constructor is called here and this message will be displayed to you that is constructing box as well as the value of x is initialized to 10 in this case with respect to, to b1 the value of x is 10 now now whenever you call this b1.show the value of x will be displayed here that is nothing but 10 in this case so whenever you create an object of that particular class an associated constructor will be called in this case so we are not passing any parameter at the time of creating the object so default constructor will be called here coming back to the second one that is a parameterized constructor again I have created a class called as B I have two uh, data members X and Y are of type integer now you can notice this is a constructor again here because it does not have any parameter the name of the method is same as the name of the class here it is accepting two parameters in this case so it is called as a parameterized constructor here the value of uh, data member x is initialized to a the value of uh, data member y is initialized to b in this case there is a normal method called as uh, show which will display the value of x and y in this case now coming back to the main class within this particular main class we have created an object of this particular b that is b1 while creating this particular object we have passed two parameters the meaning of this one is it will call the parameterized constructor over here so 4 will be copied into a and 5 will be copied into b the value of a will be assigned to x and the value of b will be assigned to y here so whenever you create an object implicitly the constructor will be called again here now b1.show will show the value of x and y the value of x and y were initialized while creating an object they are 4 and 5 they will be displayed here that is what the output we will get here and it is not hard and fast all that we can have only default or parameterized constructor we can have both at the same time that is called as a constructor overloading so in this example you can notice I have uh, two data members x and y 
I have a default constructor because I am not passing any parameter here. I have a parameterized constructor because I am passing two parameters in this case. Similarly, if you want to add any number of uh, constructors, you can add. But uh, you have to have at least uh, the number of arguments should be different or the type should be different in that case. In this case, the number of arguments are different. Here, we don't have no argument. Here, we have two arguments in this case. You can have another constructor here like b int a float b. There are two arguments, but the type of arguments is different with respect to previous constructor here. That's also possible in that case. The wide show method will display the value of x and y. In this case, you can notice I am creating an object b1 and I am passing two parameters. Because I am passing two parameters, it will call the parameterized constructor here. The x will be initialized to 4 and y will be initialized to 5 here. And then uh, they will be displayed over here. While creating b2, I am not passing any parameter. The meaning of this one is it will call default constructor. The value of x will be initialized to 10. The value of y will be initialized to 20 in this case. And whenever you call b2.show, with respect to b2, the value of x and y are 10 and 20. They will be displayed over here. So this is how actually uh, you can uh, use constructors in Java. In this video, I have explained uh, what are the different type of constructors are there and how to use those particular constructors in Java. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.